coming out. Um, we're supporting the Maranatha Youth Group. They're going to be your servers this evening. We're going to ask that you don't tip them for their wonderful service. <laughs> but if you would do uh, donations in the box over there uh, to show your gratitude. And we hope that you enjoy the performance tonight, which should be fun and entertaining if it's not. Sorry. <laughs> um, each table is going to be its own team. So if you kind of want to move around a little bit, um, get together, spread apart, that's fine. Um, you should, each table should have the suspect profile. You're going to pick your lead detective and the lead detective is going to fill out this sheet um, and you all will be contributing with the clues that you all catch. Okay, um, what we're looking for is who did it, why they did it, and how they did it. Um, so if you have those three things, I think we have prizes at the end of the night. So a couple of things I do want to go over. We are going to have the lights go out a couple of times this evening. So once the performance gets started, if you would stay in your seats. Um, there will be some time when the lights just over the head table over our actors are going to dim. That is going to be your chance to talk to each other and, and hash out some clues. They will also be eating dinner at this time and conversing amongst themselves. So when the lights are off over them, they're not giving you any clues. You don't need to pay attention to that. So um, they've already uh, are serving the salad. I understand that they're serving pork this evening, but they do have a second option if you have some dietary restrictions. So please talk to one of your servers about that. And then I'll go ahead and set the scene. You're attending a wedding reception, and I don't remember seeing very many of you at the ceremony, so we know why you are all here. Um, you should have some wedding programs at your table to all look, to look at. Um, they're gonna offer you a small introduction to the wedding party. Uh, thankfully, the bride and groom chose an indoor location, as local weather reports indicate a storm of the century is blowing through this evening. So sit back, eat up, and be suspicious of those around you because someone is not who they claim to be. Ooh, da, da, da. Sammy, what are you doing way down there? That's a... Do you like any cucumbers? Thank you. That's Tammy Wynette. Well, I sure hope Grandma Louise behaves herself today. You know how she gets towards Jimmy Jr. Well, she's not so wrong. Jimmy is kind of untrustworthy. Are we still on that? You never gave him a chance. Well, you know what? If things go wrong, back in middle school, I we mean, do not want a repeat of your one-woman band. Well, welcome everyone to our wonderful night. Let the catering staff get to your needs, and soon we'll be introducing Mr. and Mrs. Pesto. It's with my distinct honor to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Pesto. Tammy, I read online that some 
trying to say that wrinkles and gaining weight and hair loss are linked to soda and diet soda, it's like way worse. What do you think? That's why I always bring my own drink. It'd be a shame if I lost this beautiful head of hair. <laughs> Which head of hair are we talking about? You've got quite a collection. <laughs> Not my fault you gave me such a big aim, a target to aim for. No water? You want me to choke? Well, thank you all for coming out to celebrate the beginning of our marriage. It means a lot to see friends we've made over the years, especially out while we were doing our vows. Except for you, Uncle Dole. You were all asleep. Well, I'll keep it short. There's a pretty bad storm coming in, and we're not going to keep you from enjoying your food. So don't forget, leave the presents at the back. And if you didn't get his presents, cash works. I've waited for this day my entire life, but unfortunately my grandfather couldn't be with, uh, be with us here today. And even though it's been a difficult year, Jimmy and I have been blessed with my late grandfather's generous spirit. The wedding and the honeymoon have been paid for. So instead of presents, we're asking for donations to send a local youth group to Super Summer. If you want to donate, please put them in the donation boxes up to your right. But if you want to spread the love a little more, you can make all checks payable to Jimmy Pesto Jr. Don't forget the junior. She could have walked forever ago. She could have. She just loves school. She didn't need to walk. She's back. It's now time for the toast. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh. 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 Am I getting it? Got grandma. <laughs> grandma, can you open the bottle? Grandma got her own bottle. What she needs to fill with. I know you like ice with your Dr. Pepper. Your place always has the best ice. Yes, it does. Okay. You're here. Hey, that was terrible. Oh, you 
are terrible. <laughs> I was really hoping that my granddaughter would see you for the gold digger that you really are. Mm -hmm. Before this fiasco of a marriage. Oh, yeah, but Is that what we're eating? Oh my god, just the big one! Everyone remain calm! I can't die with not having my first kiss! Come here, Sammy! <laughs> you got to your hair though! No one knows about that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's over here, that's my man. Oh, you made that so awkward. Jimmy! <laughs> She's sleeping. Can you wake her up? Oh no. Someone call a doctor! Okay! You! Call 911! Lay her down! Guys, lay her down! Move these tables aside! She's dead! Sergeant Bosco, 
I'm in charge here tonight. There's been a crime, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. That means all of you, sit down. Yes. Now, I'm pretty sure I know who did this, but I'm going to interview you all just to rule you out. Bosco, buddy, you know me. I couldn't have done this. That's Sergeant Bosco to you. Now, Luis was a friend of mine. I came to this wedding for her. I will make sure her murderer is brought to justice. All right, everybody. Listen, I've solved many cases. I've studied some of the greatest crime solvers of our generation. Matlock, Mason, Columbo. I'm not that old, so... Don't assume. You know, I always ask WWALD never fails to get criminals behind bars. WWALD, what's that mean? I'll know if you're lying, so don't lie to me. WWALD? What would Angela Lansbury do? <laughs> now we'll start down here. She was in Golden Girls. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Jocelyn. Where is Killington out there? I'm the office manager out there now. That's her side. No, it's an outpatient surgery. Duh. So, office manager, what exactly is your job description? Well, I schedule my employees. I take care of order supplies, I take care of our inventory and customer service, and I work with the insurance company. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm assuming yeah. there are protocols <laughs> and security in place for all of these, medical, these surgical medications. Uh, does any of your, does any part of your job give you access to this? Yes, I have to check the inventory, but I always have to have someone else there because we both have to sign off that we counted it. Oh, like thank goodness. Yes. I'm sure there's no way that you could forge a signature. So obvious. So you have obvious means, but what about motive? Yeah. We're all aware that we never sugarcoated no. her words and was always telling people exactly what she thought of them. Now, I've been taking notes all day. I'm a detective. It's what I do. Now, I believe I overheard Louise tell you, now I'm quoting, she said, you look like an unbaked can of biscuits shoved into a Biscuits. Now listen, I can imagine, knowing her for years. What are you laughing about here? Muffin top? Love the dress. Listen, I, I, I know, knowing her for years, probably talk to, uh, talk down for, on many occasions. That probably wasn't even the worst thing she said to you, was it? No. Did you finally have enough? I'm pregnant. Who says that? And no, she said way worse. But I would never hurt anyone. I can't hurt anyone. Because you're just too nice? No. Well, yes. And there's a thing called karma. And I don't want to be a dumb beetle in my life. <laughs> 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 Moving on. Boop. 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 Would you have a similar motive? <laughs> Luis wasn't nice. In fact, her eulogy will be quite difficult. And I really do feel bad for the person that has to give that. But uh, anyways, uh, let me ask you about your means. Where do you work? Ew. Work? Like with my hands? No, I'm too beautiful for that. I'm gonna be a trophy wife, not one of those that yeah. cleans and takes care of kids. I'll have maids and nannies. I guess my job is just to stay beautiful. Do you have any hobbies, or are you interested in anything at all? Um, like going shopping. Okay, tell me about your day today. Well, um, first I woke up, I brushed my teeth, then I had a piece of toast. Doctor. Let me ask you a question. You mentioned the poison could have happened before the wedding. What made you think that? Well, I've been Louisa's doctor for years. I know that in her younger years, before marriage and family, she worked for the government. Which government? I know it involves a lot of travel, and I know she has to be very powerful. That's not a government. That's a part of She may have left that life behind, but it always has a way of catching up with me, you know? 
but you said the poison was fast acting. Is there anything else you can tell me? It was ingested, something she ate. This may make me suspect, but I'm a member of the Fugu Society of North America. I know Jean from our monthly gatherings. Why is that suspicious? Yeah. Well, this poisoning is similar to what I've seen in victims in improperly prepared puffer fish. Fast acting. Just it. Dina, was Louise supposed to be sitting at the head table? No, she was in mine. No, she took Jimmy's seat. her, right? And she toasted with this cup. My gosh, I don't think Louise was our intended victim. No, no. I'm serious. So, Jimmy, hey, 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 little kisses there. Hey, Jimmy, she's married. Now, if my hunch is wrong and Luis was the intended victim, there's still no running of suspect. Top of the list until those pills are analyzed. Now, who would want you dead? Well, I think the only person here who didn't like you is dead. Suicide. You serve the drinks. Now, 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 hold on, Barney Fife. <laughs> me, me and J Jimmy, J me, me and Jimmy, Jimmy, we've been friends since high school. You're not very well educated, I can tell that, but... <laughs> you know, I heard that. But you know what? I heard you come from money. And I heard your family owns a pretty successful car dealership, well, right? They do. They do. And I've worked there practically since I could walk. Now, Jimmy isn't very good with his money. In fact, you basically supported him until recent. Am I right? Well, well I wouldn't say he supported me. Now, now, man, listen. In college, we, four years of college, did you ever pay rent? No. Did you once ever pay for the utilities? Did you ever buy fishing bait? I mean, I remember that one time that I paid for the doctor's visit when you and your cousin Eric decided to put a brand okay. on your Whoa! Okay, so this is a bit of a sore spot. Yeah, right. That's right. He was marrying into money. You two have a disagreement about what he owed you. Well, I, I wasn't keeping track. But you did keep track? Well, now listen, now listen. Listen now. I, I'm trying to talk. I, 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 I poured drinks for everybody. No one else got sick. Okay. You know what? I'm going to circle back to you. You aren't off my list yet. Tammy, uh, I noticed you didn't drink the soda. <laughs> Do you have any information I need to know? Do you see Age or Should have guessed. I'll still get this sandalized and see what we find. Besides, Jocelyn is the one that sets the Jimmy's table. I bet she put something in his glass. Did you see her put something in the glass? Well, no, but. Jocelyn, what do you have against Jimmy? Well, I don't think that he can take care of my friend Tina. He seems irresponsible. And I think he's taking advantage of Tina and her money. Do you agree with that? She's saying money or not. No, I don't hate Jimmy. Louise is kind of blind, raving about him. I just don't think he can take care of my friend. I think he's going to hurt her. And Carmen will take care of it. That's twice I've heard that name was Carmen. Is she used to live down the street we grew up on. Yeah, I'm San Diego. Karma San Diego. Karma San Diego. Where did the world say that? No, he did. I don't know, but that Bill and I got down there. He came on right after her. Probably with Paul. Gee! Yeah, I haven't talked to you much tonight. I haven't heard much from you either. In fact, not many people here seem to know you. Dude, that's because Jimmy comes to my restaurant all the time. We're like best friends. Go to his barbecues, his birthday parties. Uh, and that V's a 
events you met Tammy. Oh, yeah. Tammy? <laughs> she's pretty. She's pretty cool. And <laughs> she's pretty. Pretty cool. Okay, okay. So, what do you do for the family diner? Oh, I'm the chef there. My grandfather, he started it. My dad's worked there. He sent me to the best culinary schools. Man, you come to my restaurant and get the best gourmet burger. I can cook with the best of them. Okay, oh, that man. definitely seems like a waste of education. Well, well. So, tell me about this Fubu <laughs> Society. <laughs> Fear Andre Grab Umami. What? What about your mommy? <laughs> you want us to show you our handshake? <laughs> I think I speak for everybody. Uh, that was pretty uncomfortable. Besides that, what else do you do at these meetings? Well, we usually eat at, we usually meet at the... Shai Yuki Peppers, it's the French Japanese fusion restaurant downtown. The hibachi frog legs, man, they're to die for. I like frog legs. We meet there about the fugu. We eat the fugu. We survive the fugu. You know, it's a good time. You're right. I suspect you more. The dangerous parts are expertly removed and discarded. We don't take them all. No, but being a doctor, you must have the means to at least mimic this poison. You can divert suspicion to your weird little friend. You know more than the rest of us. You know more, you know more than the rest of us about Louise's past. She has powerful enemies. And you were quite overly excited about your little microscope. I took an oath. The Hippocratic one, I don't have unlimited and unchecked access to poison. Anyone can order puffer fish online. Okay. So that leaves the bride. You were the, you were the one that had something to gain from either of the deaths. You inherit the rest of your grandparents' estate now. You can live in peace without having to take care of that bitter old woman. Or... Maybe you did figure out that Jimmy was a bit of a gold digger. Maybe your maid of honor succeeded in seducing the broom. What? Excuse me? I would never. With Jimmy? Yeah, right. Come on now. <laughs> so, Tina, which is it? Do you need a way out that would save face? Or would it be better? Is it better to be a widow than a dupe? Or were you just tired of being run down by Graham? Stop, neither. I don't think as people as expendable for my game. I love my grandma. I know she hated Jimmy, but she seemed to hate everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Except Doyle. <laughs> I think she was scared of something. And she didn't trust anyone, but the doctor cleared that up. I didn't even know she had a job before she was married. No wonder she kept people at a distance. As for Jimmy, I know we don't make a traditional couple, but I, um, I know he hasn't found a job he's passionate about, but it doesn't mean he won't. I know he relies on people too heavily, but I know if I love him, I don't rely on him. I love him, he loves me. Okay. I think I have enough. I'm pretty certain I have this wrapped up. <laughs> All right, it's time to come to our final conclusion. I want to thank everybody. I know it's been a long and stressful night. But I have come to my conclusion. I'm going to start ruling those who did not do it. Tina, I know you had a lot to gain from your grandma's death, and I know that you do sincerely love your husband, and that you are a loving and kind person. So I know you didn't do it. What is so funny? You just had a murder, and this is this is funny. 
Jimmy, I know you were hesitant to marry, but deep down I know you love her. In fact, I think you were the intended target, not Luis. Yes. Let's catch him now. Welcome, Dano. See? We come to you. I know you and Jimmy really have had some uh, financial issues together, but I know that you two have been friends for a long time, go all the way back to high school. So I know you wouldn't want to harm your good buddy now, would you? hair on that branded butt. That's what I thought. Danny? First off, I just don't think you're smart enough to buy your <laughs> Secondly, and most importantly, it's pretty obvious you're in love with the groom, aren't you? That's pretty obvious. Jocelyn? You know, you never liked the girl. But you were suspicious of yeah. him, but but I just don't think you, you had the heart to, to kill anybody. So I'm not a dumb beetle. <laughs> she, she said dumb. <laughs> she said boom. <laughs> so that comes down to the doctor <laughs> and Jean. She says a bunch of mommy. with me the whole night. In fact, I had eyes on you from the parking lot. You sat right across me. So there is no way that you would have done it. That leaves our friend Gene. And let me tell you why. You love Tammy, don't you? I do. And you know that Tammy loves Jimmy. Yeah. So what's the best way to get Tammy for yourself? Is to kill him! You knew it. I wanted your dad! 